Hello dudes and dudettes, it's KK here, and we are going to play Banjo-Kazooie. I actually never played Banjo-Kazooie uh, very much as a kid. I would always get to just past the first level and then quit because I had Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie and, you know, I had a pretty, pretty terrible case of ADD as a kid, so I always just personally found Banjo-Tooie to be a lot more engaging. And so little me would be like, no, let's not play this game that's probably incredible. Let's just rebeat the sequel a millionth time. Alright, so we are going to... Oh, I don't know which one. Like, do we want to ruin Banjo's beautiful sleep by deleting that game? Do we want to stop him from cooking and make him die of starvation? Do we want to ruin him playing Pokemon? You know what? He's probably playing Pokemon Black. Are you sure? Press A to confirm or B to cancel. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Banjo. Gotta go save some damsels. AKA your sister. Oh, it's a giant green cock. I mean, hat. And it is Gruntilda. I don't know why, but this reminds me of like the scene at the after the credits of the Avengers going up the stairways. It was all weird and 3D. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Not you. Why it's grunty all day. She really takes my breath away. Cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. She is like, but there is this girl. What do you mean this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tui, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find... It's Tootie, she's cute and kind. This game needs to learn to sort its syllables out. Well, we'll see about that. Tootie! I mean, Dixie Kong. Nope, definitely Tootie. Run! And there's bottles. <laughs> Look at that guy. Hi there, cutie. What are you gonna do today? When my big legs and brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. And friggin' Banjo, being a lazy asshole. Your sister wants to hang out with you, Banjo. She might not have too long. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too. Oh, look at her driving her flying penis. Yeah. You know, I. There is a lot of characters in this game, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to give them all voices. So, I don't know if I'm going to voice every single one. But, you know, whatever. I don't think so. Who's that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you weird head. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. Oh, I can't even keep the same voice. Oh, well. Poor Kazooie's like, what's going on? And Banjo's just being a lazy asshole still. Yes, I'll get up. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside this room. <laughs> Alright. Let's explore. So this is the wonderful world of Banjo-Kazooie. I believe this is Spyro Mountain. And yeah, Banjo-Kazooie is one of the 
most solid. Oh, bottles. Banjo Kazooie is one of the most solid platformers in the Nintendo 64 library. Ah, oh, bottles. I forgot you're alive for the whole game this time. I'm Banjo. This here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can you talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was that all noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntail the swoop came out of the sky and grabbed her. Yeah, yeah. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. Sorry, dude. I'm in a rush. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. Mm, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. Anyways, now we're finally playing. Uh, yeah, that's... What I was saying before is this is one of the more solid and awesome platformers in the Nintendo 64 library. Die, Carrot! And, um... One thing that's kind of cool... Mm, I'm sticking and taste a hunt of energy! Uh, one, one of the more unique things about this game is all of... Oh no, Honeycomb! All of the different, uh... First person mode... All of the different moves you learn over the course of the game are actually given to you as sort of power-ups. Yeah! Uh, man, I've been playing a very large amount of Zelda. And I keep, as you just saw right there, I just jumped off the side of the log expecting to automatically jump off. And I keep, um, I keep running the log like, oh, I'll just jump off automatically. But no, this is an actual proper platformer. Using terrible Nintendo 64 cameras, of course. Alright, we're gonna go get that golden honeycomb. Or not. Let's try that again. So yeah, as you, uh... I am not very good at platformers, I will throw that out now. <laughs> um, I probably shouldn't have done one as my very first uh, set of videos, but whatever. I love this game to pieces. Well, the second one. I haven't played this one very much. I don't know if we can actually get that one yet. Yeah, no, not yet. Oh well, we'll come back to it one day. Um, and yeah, I will probably be going for a 100% because being a true platformer, this game has a lot, basically both of the uh, Banjo games are centered around getting jigsaw pieces and just like any proper true platformer not every jigsaw piece is needed yeah getting those honeycombs and pieces your life by the way I'm an extra honeycomb piece collect six of us to increase your energy bar yeah um like any proper true platformer not all of them are required oh no I'm a bear I can't swim. Okay, I guess I can. Uh, not all of them are required to actually beat the game. But we're gonna get them all anyways. No! If I ever stop sucking at platforming. Which, you know. Oh my god, the camera does kind of work. Will probably not happen. What the hell is that even supposed to be? Oh, I don't know. Alright. Let's climb up Spiral Mountain. I remember uh, the very first time I played Nuts and Bolts, you start out in Spiral Mountain, but you're ripping around in a vehicle, and I was like, oh, there's bottles. I was a little upset when I first got it because, you know, I've been wanting an actual proper uh, Banjo-Tooie sequel for a long time, and I was really bummed out when I found out that it was going to be some strange racing game. And to its credit, it was actually a really wicked game. Like, I loved the crap out of that game. But I was a little disappointed at the time. But then, you know, I started ripping around all of this beautiful world, 
in a vehicle, and it was actually pretty fun. And that's it's actually a really fun game. I do hope they make a Banjo 3, but you never know. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Poor Tootsie. This fine contraption so on. Okay, you know, I need to decide who has what voice. Let me go, you fat head. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty. Power is on. Banjo, hey. It's okay, Dixie. I mean, Tootsie. We'll be there soon. There he is. The phone begins. My tricks and traps will see you wins. I, uh... You know, I'm 19 years old, but am apparently just now hitting puberty because I have absolutely terrible voice cracking problems. Is it like Mario? Nope. We can't, we can't go to different worlds through that painting, unfortunately. Ooh. What's up here? <gasps> this is the jigsaw piece that I mentioned earlier for the two of you that haven't actually played a banjo game. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Oh, that familiar old song. And, oh my god, that is gonna hurt to poop out. Kazooie is gonna have some nasty, painful bird poops. No! I will make it! No! Oh wow. Let us go into... What is this? What is this? What is this? Let's take a look. Some scary monster mouth. Let's go into the scary monster mouth. And into a little trap, I guess. This is the first world, Mubo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw picture with an image of this area only. Have a look around, it can't be far away. Alright, well, it's probably that one I'm imagining. Oh, I guess it is like Mario. Oh well. Um, so, we're gonna end the video now, and I promise next video I will get the voices properly. See you all beautiful people next time.